Hello, welcome back to Cataclysm University. Uh, my name is Vormathrax, and this is course number four, where we will be learning about the debug or cheat menu. Now, of course, this is a roguelike game. No cheaters allowed. Mm, but you can cheat if you'd like. So, what I'm going to show you here is how to access the cheat menu or debug menu. Um, I only recommend you use it if you are learning the game and are curious about a particular feature, function, item, monster, whatever. It does make for a useful and convenient way to bring things into your gameplay um, so you can kind of take a look or play around with things. Um, so it's got a lot of powerful functions and features in it. I won't cover them all in detail. I'm mainly just wanting to show you that there is such a thing as a debug cheat menu, how to get to it, and some of the things that you can do with it. So this should be a fairly short course, but I think it'll be proved valuable for a lot of players, especially new players. All right, so let's get into it. So in your game, the debug menu isn't actually enabled initially, I believe, by default. So we're going to have to go into the hotkey section to basically activate it or turn it on. So if we bring up the escape key and bring up the main menu, what I want to show you is under key bindings, if you page down to the very bottom of this list, all right, and then we'll scroll up slightly. What I'm looking for is right here, debug menu. And I think it's unbound by default. I've got mine set to the end key on my keyboard, so it's quick and easy for me to tap. I usually have my hand on the arrow keys or the keypad, so it doesn't take me far to travel with my finger to get the end key pressed. You can set it to whatever you'd like, obviously. And you can see up here what options to use to remove key bindings and add key bindings and so on. I'm not going to explain that part of it for this uh, episode, but just know that there's a debug there's a debug menu choice. Bind it to a key. Once you have done that, all you have to do is press that key and bam, there's your cheat menu. And first thing it tells you, debug functions. Using these is cheating. So, I don't recommend you use it, but if you want it or need it, here it is. So, pretty big list of things to do. I'm not going to cover most of them, but I do want to mention a few things that confused me a bit at first. So, Wishing for an item is fairly straightforward. You pick wish for an item, and moving through these menus, I'm not going to do them all, but uh, you can basically wish for almost any item in the game that's not an assembled item, I believe. Um, so feel free to browse through the list, and there's ways of filtering, sorting, and searching, and so on. Um, you can also teleport, you can reveal the map, spawn in NPCs, spawn monsters, kill NPCs, mutate yourself, bring in a vehicle, change skills, so you can see. I'll let you scroll down the list. Um, there's a few though, let me point out, edit player NPC. So if you pick that, you then have to pick either you or a nearby NPC in your view range. So I'm going to pick me, and then you get this next menu. So you can edit skills, stats, items, and so on. And something I want to mention in particular, if you Cause pain, for example, I'm going to cause myself 10 pain. And you can see up here, I now have a status of pain 10. If I want to get rid of that, I'll have to go back to the menu, pick the option. So I'm going to just press D on my keyboard to shortcut to edit player NPC. Pick myself. There's not a menu option for remove pain. So what you do for this and a number of other statuses is you select that option again and you put a negative value in. So you put minus. So I'm going to, instead of putting minus 10, I'm going to put minus 8 just to show. And you'll now see pain 2. So that's how you actually get rid of some of the numbers or effects. So whether it's hit points or morale or pain or so on, if there's not an obvious option to remove it, try putting a negative value in for the option that seems most appropriate and that will usually modify it the way you expect. Um, so let's go back into that menu again. So that's how you would edit some of the values. Tons of things you can do in here. You can kill every monster in range. Um, I don't know. Most of these I've never looked at or never used. Occasionally, if I'm playing in a no monster world and all I want to do is practice building vehicles or practice my base setup or things like that, this is a way to do it without having to actually play through a full game. You can bring the debug menu in, wish for some items, wish for stacks of items, and then just build yourself silly. So um, it's a good way to explore how the game works. Obviously, don't use it for your standard games. Be a man or a woman. 
your choice and play it for real. If you die, you die. Um, learn and move on. But uh, if you need it, that's where the debug menu is at, how you get to it, how you hotkey it, and how you use it. So I hope you found the information helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in future courses. If you have any other questions about this or any other topic covered in the series, please use the Discord channel I've got linked below to contact me and leave questions. Um, me or anybody else in the Discord channel will be happy to help you answer questions and uh, generally chat about the game. So I look forward to seeing you in future episodes, and have a great day.